Liza Colby. Um, no, that's okay. I'll just call back. Oh, Cecily. Hi. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. It's the shock value, see, because you haven't seen me in, like, weeks, and then you see me twice in one day, and you're probably wondering why. Well, that's because this morning I forgot to ask you, will you be my matron of honor, please? Oh, yeah, I'd be honored. <laughs> well, that's just fabulous, you see, because I figure with Mr. and Mrs. Perfect Marriage standing up for me and Charlie, we're going to be blessed by the matrimonial gods. And... This doesn't seem to make you as deliriously happy as it makes me. Why? What's wrong? Sorry, nothing. Nothing. Um, something at PVU. Something at PVHS. You have too much MSG. PMS. Ted lied to me about Liza. You're not going to win this one. We're not fighting about trash TV here. Well, then what are we fighting about? With tempers running high and passions hot, their lips finally meet. Electronic tape recorders. So you can remember what you're fighting about after. What do you think? Excuse me. Just, I need to talk to you in private just for a minute. Sure. you're trying to pull have you completely lost your mind and have you lost your sense of humor this is a sexy ad it's a red herring a spoof it wasn't a spoof that was us well maybe we were the inspiration inspiration my butt that was you and me word for word well we can tone it down a little bit the dialogue what is did up you to do the use a hidden tape recorder your tape recorders is that it did you tape us was there a hidden camera? Are you being ridiculous? I'm sorry, right forgive now? me. I just get a little nuts when people make a fool out of me, especially in front of the staff. No one knew that that was you. Good. No one's going to see it either. What? Liza, that teaser never sees the light of day, not on my show. Excuse me. You don't own the show. You don't own me. Let's calm down now, okay? First of all, I make the decisions. I also have veto power. Secondly, how could anyone possibly know what happened between the two of us unless you told them? You gave them a word-for-word -word account of our entire conversation. That's not the problem. Great. Then we have a perfect scenario to hype our show. You play your part and no one's the wiser. You're serious, aren't you? And you're charming and light and smoldering. You, you don't even see it, do you? What is it that we I don't see? We promised each other we were just going to forget the whole thing. The thing being that incredible kiss oh, that you kind of on me just... after we had our fight. Oh. Okay, I'm, uh... I'm sorry. I guess I crossed the line. Yeah, well, you've been doing a lot of that lately. I suppose this meant more to us than I wanted to admit, and that I was making fun of it, and that I... was off base. I didn't it's say that. It's hard for both of us to sort of forget. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. but, you know, for different, um, for different reasons. And maybe we shouldn't talk about it anymore. We should get down to business, because we got a show without an intro. No, I say we scrap the whole idea. We're not going right to throw out the baby with the bathwater. The... No, we have got to come up with something else. Tonight. Tonight. You, you, I, you know, ah, what is it? You do, 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 you're a machine, isn't it? Don't you have other shows to take care of besides The Cutting Edge with Thaddeus Martin? But nothing else stimulates me the way The Cutting Edge does. So what do you say? You want to order in, hunker down, get to work? No, I can't. What I heard, Tad and Liza talking about putting it behind them, starting fresh. Let's see, they could have been talking about a fresh pot of coffee. This is... Don't do this to yourself. Something is wrong. I know it. They've got 
bad history. Miles and miles of it. I mean, at least he's not an Alec McIntyre. I don't think he's quite gone that far. I don't think he's gone at all. Cecily, look at your watch. Yes. It's pretty late, isn't it? Cat's not here. Well, you know, some of us have bosses that are slave drivers. Uh, it, sometimes it's out of our control. No, it's not that he's spending all of his late night hours with you know who. It's him. He's changed. He's so different. He's driven. Well, he works in television. It's the nature of the beast. No, we don't hang out anymore. We don't spend any time together. We don't even talk. Honey, welcome to the 90s. It's called being overworked. There's more to it than that. I can feel it. Look, Tad would never, and I mean ever, look at another woman. This is absolutely crazy. I want you to just forget it. You haven't seen her, have you? There is no one better than you as far as Tad's concerned. He spends all day with her. She's gorgeous. She's intelligent. She's talented. She's beautiful. She's poised. I mean, she's got everything going for her now. Hi. for me to uh, get out of here. Um, honey, thank you so much for saying yes. Um, but... called me a liar. Let's just forget it. No, it's not. Please don't try and change the subject. Not that big a deal. Can't I just take it Honey, back? Honey, you called me a liar. I think it's a very big deal. I didn't mean it. You said it. Let's just drop it. Okay? Why did you say it? Because you lied. About what? About you and Liza last night. Hello? Hi, it's me. Um, listen, you've got no problem, no competition whatsoever. What are you talking about? You are so much prettier than Liza Colby. Where are you? I'm at WRCW, and I, I've got to go. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, sure. You betcha. And, um, you know, he keeps asking me to come by and see where he works. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, drop by any time. That's what he said. So you chose now. Most folks would be home safe and sound? Well, I'm happy to say that I've never been most folks. Oh, I'm sure you're not. I'm sure you're also not a friend of Ted's. I'm calling security. No, uh, don't do that. It, it, it sure... Call Tad and ask him. I'll dial his home number so you can memorize it. I don't think so. Did you get paranoid much? Hey. Oh, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Long. Charlie, please, tell her who I am. Please don't drag an innocent bystander into this. Charlie, please just tell her that I'm not a wacko fan. You're not? Don't do this. It's true. This is uh, Cecily, and she happens to be my wacko fiance. You're kidding me. Nope, mm -hmm. Cecily, this is Liza Colby. So well, I <laughs> gathered. <laughs> Sorry. That's uh, all right. We have to be very careful around here. Oh, well, of course I understand. So, how long have you known Tad? Oh, I, I, I've known him for ages, you know, uh, pretty much ever since that, that wonderful time when he met and fell in love with the uh, beautiful Dixie Cooney. They're really quite a luscious couple, aren't they? Very sweet. Charlie, it's been nice to see you. It's a pleasure. Same here. So, uh, why did you want me to meet you here? What do you think of her? I hardly know her. I mean, in the looks department, on a scale of, of one to ten. You're a ten, and she is far, far below. Well, obviously, but you think she's on the scale? 
he, uh, you know, she, she definitely has a kind of a sexy aura about her. You think? You don't? I lied. About Liza. Well, I don't understand, honey. Was, it, was there something else you thought you heard in that conversation? Did Liza say something to you? Is that it? No. But Adam said plenty. Adam? Adam Chandler? What could Adam Chandler possibly have to say that would make you call me a liar? I don't know. I don't know, Pat. Maybe he was just trying to make things worse. Yo, I'd say he succeeded, and I want to know what he said. Come on, what was it? What? No, seriously, that, that he saw us going upstairs to her room at the Valley Inn, is that it? Her room? You went up to her room? We had some business to discuss, okay? That it was. You it, had business to it discuss, was just but a little, you, you couldn't discuss in a public honey, dining room. Okay, look, look. We had to preview some videotapes, okay? And, and strangely <laughs> enough, there was no, there was no VCR in the Valley Inn dining room. She had one upstairs <laughs> in her hotel room, so we went up. It was a hell of a lot easier than going all the way back to the studio. Yeah, I bet it oh, was. Oh Lord, I can't believe you are overreacting. I cannot believe that you're surprised that you think that this is nothing. It was nothing. There was nothing to it. It was normal, everyday work. There that was, was nothing it. Nothing normal and everyday about your work situation. You don't trust me at all, do you? Well, the evidence just keeps stacking up evidence? here, Dad. Evidence? I'm not on trial here, Dixie. I'm just doing my job. May I remind you, you're the one that's monitoring my phone calls, that's going through the laundry looking for lipstick, that's, that's grilling people on where I've been. Next thing you know, you're going to be following me. Maybe I should. Maybe that's how I'll find out something about you. You don't tell me anything. I mean, you get this... You apply for the station manager's job, you don't tell me. You don't get the job, you don't tell me. Your old flame gets the job, I don't hear about it. And then you get the job taking over for Erica as host of the show, you and I don't hear anything. You no, know why I do know. I know why I don't hear anything. It's because you don't care about me. I am a complete afterthought. Honey, I am hard to fit in your life. I'm a footnote. That is not true, and you know it. I'm trying to do the best job I can with a very difficult work situation and keep my marriage humming at the same time. And it's not easy, okay? It's tough. I know it's been tough. I know we haven't been able to spend too much time together, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I know. I know that we've got problems, and I, I want to make it better, honey. That's why I want you to come away with me, okay? Now, listen, I'm serious. I got a business trip. I got to go away for a few days for a promotion, okay? And I want you to come with me. I, I want to just be the two of us. I want to spend time with you. Well, tough. I'm not going. 